Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing some repotting. I'm going to repot this indoor plant that I have right here and I am going to put it in that big container over there. It's not going to look that good in my house. I'm also going to repot this one. This is an indoor plant as well. I'll be putting my fig tree in my Jack Daniels barrel. That's going to be really good. So just get ready to do some backyard gardening with me. I did say that gardening was therapeutic for me. That karate chop was a little excessive. Nonetheless, I bought three bags of soil to go into this Jack Daniels barrel. I'm gonna take the fig tree out of this pot very gently and place it in the soil. I'm using the leftover soil that was in the big container. This is the third bag of soil that I bought. It's a little different. It's specifically for potted plants. This is my first time planting a tree or anything in a barrel or a pot. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. It's going to be amazing. And then I'll just add a little finishing touches. I'll do a little funnel and have a little funnel. No pun intended. And there you have it. My fig tree in a Jack Daniel barrel. How about that? I am repotting this indoor plant. This is my second time repotting it. This plant will grow over six feet tall. I cannot wait until it gets that tall. It's gonna be reaching my ceiling. I did not realize there was this much water in there. Wow. As I was taking the plant out of the pot, I remembered that each one of these plants were separate. So I was having a little difficulty trying to figure out how we get it out without it actually being a disaster. I might need a little help. Can I get a little help here for my assistant, please? Can you hold that up, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you position them? Yes, thanks. Thanks to my assistant, I was able to position the plant in a way that it will thrive. And the pot that I chose is perfect. This is going to be amazing. There's the finished results of the repotting of my indoor plants. This one can grow up to six feet tall as well. I planted some sunflowers in this container. I'm gonna repot that as well. I have some purple grapes. I'm gonna put them in the ground soon. I just don't know when because I already have a huge grapevine. And then I'll show you some other indoor plants that I'm going to repot. This is an indoor plant. It needs to be repotted badly. These are more sunflowers. I'm gonna repot them as well. Here is another indoor plant that I will be repotting. It looks like spiders when it grows out. 
and now my fig tree that I put in my Jack Daniels barrel. That is so beautiful. It even has figs on it. I bought this fig tree from Lowe's. And here's my black cherry tree. I'm going to install it over by my grapevine. I'm cutting it close as far as the space goes, but I'll just plant it there anyway. This tree seems pretty lightweight, so it should be kind of easy to come out of the container. I'm limited with space in this area. So we'll see what, what happens. Let's see, well, it came out easy, but the only thing is I didn't make the hole big enough. What I could do is I could just create a dome and then do the funnel into the dome. That way, when I put more soil on the top, it will eventually, during these uncertain times, I'm learning to embrace losing things. My hummingbird is no longer around, thanks to my cat. Also, my mango tree didn't make it. I'm guessing that when I installed it and repositioned it, it probably shocked it because all the leaves are dried out and it just looks like it's not doing too well. But I'm hoping one day it will come back to life. We'll see. And now I'll give you an update on the side of my house. I have lots of seeds that I planted. This I thought was a peach tree, but it's looking more like a sunflower. And this one over here, that looks like a citrus tree. Here's a pomegranate tree. I have two pineapples that I've had in these mason jars for about a year. I'm gonna install them eventually in my backyard. Here is another one of these that I thought was a peach tree, but it looks more like a sunflower. And there you have it, the side of my house. Now over here, I planted melons. Those are melons. And then to the left of that is my lime tree. It's a dwarf lime tree. Now, let's see. The melons that I've planted over here are a variety of melons. This is my first time planting that type of melon. I'm hoping to get some melons. Now, next to my melons are plums. My plum tree, every year, it grows so many plums and it's just delicious. Look delicious, yay. Okay, so now I have my Haas avocado tree. And then next to my avocado tree, I have my blood orange tree. And there's lots of oranges. They're pretty big also, as you can see. Yes, this is the tree that has my hummingbird's nest in. I haven't seen the hummingbird in over a week. Either she became a part of the food chain or these were decoy eggs. I can't see them being decoy eggs because she was nesting for quite some time. Next to my orange tree, I have a green apple tree. There's a few apples on there. Last year I got eight apples. Next to the apple tree is my peach tree. My peach tree was one of the first trees that I installed when I moved in this home. 
And here is the banana tree that I purchased from a nursery in Florida and I raised it in my house and I just installed it this spring. Here is my kale. And behind the kale, I have my tangerine tree. And next to the tangerine tree is another banana tree. Now this banana tree I installed in the fall and it died, but then it came back to life in the spring. Now let's head over to the other side of my house and I'm gonna show you where I just installed my navel dwarf orange tree. Yeah, it says dwarf, but we'll see about that because none of my trees in my backyard are dwarf. Then I have some corn here. This is popcorn and sweet corn. This is my proscenium tree. I can't wait to eat my own proscenium's. And on this side, here is my white gava tree. I also have some collard greens that my daughters planted. And yes, there are beans on the ends of my greens. And if we go back, there are more greens and then let me see, this looks like arugula. And then we have some parsley. I'm not sure what that is, but I've been seeing that a lot in my yard. Yeah, if anybody knows what that is, please let me know. I have some kale back here. And then there's more, wait, wait, those are weeds, let me just pick these. They won't be useful. I have more kale. And all of this is kale here. There you have it. The side of my yard. I'll just turn around and go back out. Like I said, there's not that much space, but I'm using every bit of it. So once I get through here, I'll just show you. This is my sunflower. Well, it's one that's left over from the fall. I'll be taking those sunflowers out really soon. They're ready. Thanks for watching.